You are welcome to Chemistry Made Easy with Bright Edo. Please do all to like, share, comment, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Dear students, in today's lesson, I'm going to be teaching on a very important topic, which is called the mole concept. I know mole concept is one of the most dreaded concepts in chemistry. But after watching this video, mole concept will be a piece of cake. I will start on the explanation before I move over to the calculations on mole concept. The mole is a quantity of convenience used in quantitative chemistry to find out the relationships between various parameters like mass, volume, molar mass, concentration, and number of particles. Now, one mole of a substance is the amount of that substance containing as many elemental entities as the number of atoms in exactly 12 grams of carbon-12 isotope. There are some important keys for calculations dealing with the mole concept. Now, you can see on the board, I said one mole of a substance equals 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 particles, which is also called atom or molecules. Now, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 particles is called the Avogadro's number. It's called the Avogadro's number. Now, one mole of a substance also equals its molar mass. Still, one mole of a substance equals 22.4 liters. And 22.4 liters is called the molar volume. The formulas needed for the calculation on mole concept. Now, N implies number of moles. Where N can be given as mass over molar mass. N can also be given as CV over 1000. N can also be given as PV over RT. N can also be given as number of particles over 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. N can also be given as volume at STP over 22.4 dm cube. Now, what's STP? STP means standard temperature and pressure. Now, let's get to work by calculating problems pertaining to the mole concept. You can recall earlier I said N implies number of moles. And N can be given as mass over molar mass. N can also be given as CV over 1000. N can also be given as PV over RT. N can also be given as number of particles. Number of particles. Or you say number of molecules over 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. And N can also be given as volume at STP over 22.4 dm cube. And what's STP? STP means standard temperature and pressure. Now, C means concentration. V means volume. P means pressure. And R means molar gas constant. Now the molar gas constant can be 0 0.08205 or 8.314. Now you use 0 0.08205 when the pressure is in 8 cm and the volume 
in DNQ. You use 8.314 when the pressure is in Newton meter and volume is in meter cubed. Now, T here means temperature. Now, let's start with question one. Question one says, how many moles of calcium triazole carbonate 4 are there in 2.5 grams of calcium triazole carbonate 4? Now, when you see this type of question, what will come to your mind is to bring out the parameters out. Now, you can see we're giving you mass of calcium triazole carbonate 4. Now, the mass of calcium triazole carbonate 4 was given to be 2.5 grams. This is for question one. Now, I know calcium triazole carbonate 4 has a molar mass. And what is the chemical formula for calcium triazole carbonate 4? The chemical formula for calcium triazole carbonate 4 is CaCO3, which you can also call it limestone. Now, what is the molar mass? The molar mass of calcium triazole carbonate 4 is the molar mass of calcium is 40, while the molar mass of carbon is 12. The molar mass of oxygen is 16. Since we have 3 molecules of oxygen, it will be 16 times 3, making it 100 grams per mole. Now, you can see we've got the molar mass and the mass, so we can calculate the number of mole of calcium triazole carbon 4. Now, the number of mole of calcium triazole carbon 4 will be N is equal to what? Mass over molar mass. Now, what is the mass? The mass was given to be 2.5. And the molar mass is 100 grams per mole. So, what would, give, so what would be the number of moles? The number of moles would be 0 0.025 moles. 0 0.025 moles. Now, question 2 says what is the mass of 2.3 moles of sodium? What is the mass of 2.3 moles of sodium? The mass of 2.3 moles of sodium is since we know the formula to be N is equal to what? Mass over molar mass. The mass of 2.3 moles of sodium will be, we are giving the mole already to be what? 2.3. And we know the molar mass of sodium to be what? 23 grams per mole. So the mass will be N times molar mass, that's you make mass subject. Now, you making mass subject of formula, we get N times molar mass. So, it becomes, the mass becomes mass is equal to N times, sorry, it will be 2.3 times 23 grams per mole. So, 2.3 times 23 becomes 53 grams of sodium. Question 3 says, what moles of IO3 oxide are contained in 1 kg of the compound? Now, they gave us IO3 oxide, IO3 oxide. Now, if you ask the student, what will come to your mind is to get the formula of IO3 oxide. And when you have to get the formula of IO3 oxide, it's very easy. Why? Because the two compound, the two elements here, rather, are ion and oxygen now you know the oxidation state of ion is plus 3 and the oxidation state of oxygen is negative 2 so what will come to your mind is to form these two compounds by what we call exchange of ion radical so how do you form the compound is to exchange both of the ions of the elements. Now, the ion for ion is plus 3, while the ion for oxygen is negative 2. So, you need to exchange them by doing this. It becomes Fe2O3. So, this is the chemical formula of ion 3 oxide. Now, after getting the chemical formula of ion 3 oxide, we were asked to calculate the mole of ion three oxide containing one kg of the compound. And recall, one kg is approximately one thousand grams. 
Because in chemistry, we work more with mass in grams, not in kg. So for you to be able to calculate the number of moles of iron 3 oxide that is contained in 1 kg of this compound, we use the same formula and you know N is what? Mass over molar mass. Now, what is the mass? The mass is 1000 grams. And the molar mass of iron, the molar mass of iron 3 oxide will be, the molar mass of iron is 56. And we have two molecules of iron, so it will be 56 times 2 plus 16 times 3, making it 160 grams per mole. Now, after getting this, we put it under the molar mass, so here's 160 grams per mole. So the number of mole of ion oxide will be 6.25 moles. Now let's move over to question 4. Question 4 says, how many moles are there in 200 cm cube of a 0 0.2 molar h vessel for solution? Now, when you see several question, what comes to your mind is to know the formula to use and to know the parameters you are giving. You can see we are giving volume and we are giving concentration. The volume was given to be 200 cm cube and the concentration is 0 0.2 molar solution H2SO4. Now, what formula are you to use? We are going to use N equals CV over 1000 because there's a relationship between concentration and volume, which is CV over 1000. So N becomes 0 0.2 molar solution times 200 cm cube over 1000. Now when you press the calculator, we get 0 0.04 moles. Now we use 1000 because the volume was in cm cube. If the volume was in cm cube, we wouldn't have used the 1000, we just removed it. Now because the volume was in cm cube, that's why we use the 1000. Now this is the answer to question 4, which is 0 0.04 moles. Now, let's move over to the last question, question 5. Question 5 says, how many moles are there in 4.25 times 10 to the power of 21 molecules of oxygen? Now you can see where they are asking us to look for the number of moles of 4.25 times 10 to the power of 21 molecules of oxygen. And earlier I said N is equal to number of molecules. Number of molecules is also called number of particles. Now we are giving the number of molecules to be 4.25 times 10 to the power of 21. And now you know there's a relationship between number of molecules and the number of moles, which is n is equal to number of molecules over Avogadro's number, which is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. Now, n becomes the number of molecules, which is 4.25 times 10 to the power of 21 over 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. Now, when you press the calculator, we get 7.0 times 10 to the power of minus 3 moles of oxygen. Hope this aspect of more concept is really clear to you now. And please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube.